So today we are at Learbat Fontana with Catalina and we are going to be making bread from geothermal uh, heat underground in the mud. Hello! So we can start guys, yeah? Uh, is it all of you plus these people, yeah? Online. Okay, perfect. We're gonna move outside. You want to carry it? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, my name is Katarina. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your introduction here. Okay. What is your name? Tucker. Tucker. My, my name is Carter. Cardo. Cardo. Culture. 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 Okay. <laughs> so nice to meet you guys. And this is Moshi online. Moshi. Hi, Moshi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so welcome to Lojarba. Welcome to Iceland. Actually, this is a very special and unique place that you are visiting today because this is the only place in Iceland where you can actually cook the bread. Yeah. So some people are. Um, mistaken is with baking bread but we are cooking very very slow cooking bread in the hot spring here uh, why this place is so special because we have cold lake that is called Loigarvatn it's this village but it's surrounded with hot springs so this lake never freezes at the edge only in the middle so even though there is a cold freezing temperatures in Iceland during the winter time we always have quite warm water in this lake and then we use these hot uh, springs and geothermal, geothermal heat to support the village with electricity uh, and heat also uh, for the housing. And then we bake this beautiful and delicious bread. So even local people come here and they bake bread uh, following their family recipes. So this was going on for a really, really long time now. Uh, what does it contain? Do you know? Uh, sugar, flour, uh, water from the spring, I'm guessing. And then uh, baking soda. Yes. Word else wow. is white. You drink it in the morning. Oh, milk. Perfect. <laughs> well, Where did you learn that? The ingredients of this particular bread? Um, YouTube video. YouTube video. Yeah, okay. Show. Uh, the, show on this. Down to Earth? <laughs> okay. Yes. Very nice. So, yes, that's correct. Um, and then, of course, we add lots of love. Yeah? So, some uh, some some love and good thoughts and good uh, energy in this bread. Um, the best is when it's warm. So what we're gonna do today? We're gonna bury this one in the hot spring and then uh, dig out our gold, so our fr fresh and hot bread for today. So we can taste it with some smoked trout and salted butter. Good, ready? So let's go. You ready, Mushi? That's the source of the heat or of the hot water. And then we have this small house next to it. Uh, so this is the place where we uh, transform the hot water into electricity and energy for the village. Yeah, so you see that white mountain all the way up. Yeah. All the way up, you can't see. You can't see. No, it's so all that's... the way over there, you see it like slightly. That's a volcano. Oh my God. Covered in snow. Yeah. So this volcano is called Hekla. 
and uh, we say that it's a teenage volcano. So it's one of the youngest ones, and only about 100 year old. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All of this. Uh, so some people can cook eggs in this water here. Are we gonna cook eggs? Yeah. Uh, it's about 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, I guess it's about 50 Fahrenheit. Um, so basically what is hot in the ground is the water and the water, uh, boiling water is heating up all of this sand and soil in this area, uh, which regulates the temperature inside. So do you want to try? Yeah? Does it feel like? Perfect. Well done. You can see more and more steam. Here we're just making a 
shape of a pistol. A lot of work on bread. <laughs> a little bit more. Now we're going to compress this sand. How many breads do you have baking at one time? Um, for at least three every day. And then if we have some extra people or extra cookies, it's going to be four or five. This one is quite nice. So you put three rocks again because it'll be ready 24 hours from exactly. now. So now we know this is this one is called Gudion, this volcano. And we have a small map of all of these volcanoes. So every each have a name. Uh, this one is called Gudion. We put three rooms in the and then from tomorrow we know that this is going to be ready at three o'clock. It would be bad to take up the wrong bread, you know? And <laughs> get all confused. Yeah. <laughs> So we never know, and that's why we're gonna have to do uh, to cool down the temperature and open the bread right here, okay, so we can see how it's uh, how it was baked and what can we get out of it. Around the lake, you can actually see that the edges are not frozen yet, but it's quite warm. And back in the days when uh, I started with people. They decided to move this place to be baptized because this water was very warm. So obviously they didn't want to be uh, baptized in a cold water. So everybody started coming here. Uh, and that's why we actually developed a small tradition with the bread also. So we're going to baptize it here in the lake. We're going to give him a name that you're going to come up with. And uh, then also we gradually cooling down the temperature of the bread. Mushi, so, what would you like to name the bread? Let's call it Mushi. Let's call it Mushi. Yeah, Mushi. Mushi. We're gonna eat Mushi. Is it also Mushi uh, ice cream or no ice cream? Mochi. More ice mochi. Mochi. Sorry. Yes. Mushi, it smells so good. It's like brown sugar and butter. Brown sugar. Yes. 
frilly cake. It's like a caramelized cake, yes, caramelized bread. So, uh, let's take it inside, yeah, that we will taste it to each. Uh, yeah, but I can give it lots. Can we boil eggs in there? Uh, you can boil eggs in this. In that one? In the spring uh, with the boiling water. Okay. Does it take long? It takes about 12 minutes. minutes okay. Well, are we going to do that today or no? No, we're not no. boiling eggs. Oh. Yeah. You can actually come to this place any time you want. So it's open for public just to see it. Yeah. Uh, and if you feel like doing some eggs in the morning, you know, you just free to do that. One right here? On the place that is called in between tectonic plates. I don't know if you've heard about it and it's exactly that the track that opens up or uh, goes through the center of Iceland. Where is it? We are standing on it right now. Then you can visit the tectonic plates in the national park over there uh, oh, and you can walk through them also. Yeah, so I get to say <laughs> There's one side that belongs or belongs. And considered to be geographically on the Eurasian plate and the other one on the North American plate. Hi, Jacob. I'm you. <laughs> I can actually feel my I can actually feel my hands now. <laughs> so we're gonna move to this table. This is going to be quite funny uh, because we do actually like a small dance with the bread before we take it out and you can you can start hearing it with the jumping sound. Can you hear it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Mushi is about to jump out. <laughs> yeah. Voila. Wow. It's beautiful another phase how we're gonna uh, stop the, the cooking process yeah go hi Mushi <laughs> gonna help you a little bit I'm cutting Mushi in half perfect beautiful then let's open it nice well done I cut Mushi in half we're gonna make a quarter here So it's very steamy, still very, very hot. Twenty four hours. Then I cut some very thin slices. 24. Yeah, 24. And then we just let it breathe for a few minutes. In the meantime, let's open up this delicious fish. So this fish is uh, from the surrounded lakes or even from the lake that we are looking at. Uh, it's a smoked trout. And um, who does this smoking process here is actually a local family. Uh, and you can see the small wooden house next to the lake. So they use uh, Icelandic wood 
to, to burn and create this uh, smoke for the fish. It's, it's salty, it's really, really nice. Yeah, so uh, because the bread is quite sweet, uh, when you take the salted butter and the smoked fish, you just balance the taste perfectly. Slice. The key is to put lots of butter, yeah? Put quite a lot, thick layer of this delicious butter. Do you like butter? Yeah. <laughs> that looks so good. And a few slices of the fish. So you're gonna cover the bread with the fish. And then the first taste is ready. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Mm. I really taste the fish. The fish is delicious. And the okay. bread is really sweet. The butter. Yeah. Very salty. Really good. Can I have some now? Please. I'm gonna bite it. I'm just making one for you. I'm eating more tea. Can you see the bread? He's making a slice. I am eating mushi. Oh my god, that looks so good. You ready, mushi? I'm gonna eat mushi now. It sounds so weird. Uh, it's really hot. It's like a cake. It's almost like a cake. It's very fluffy. It's like a gingerbread, right? Yeah. It's very like sweet, fluffy. And the salmon's like salty and uh, very, very. Um, Too easy to eat. Yes, it's very sweet. It's like gingerbread almost. It's, it's very moist. Um, the butter really has a strong flavor. I like it. The fish has a subtle flavor. It's like um almost like salmon. The mm. fish is almost like salmon or tuna. Mm.